Hello and good day to you, welcome to Zersoft tutorial, at the end of this lesson, you will know how to add customer product mapping. You may find this menu at the inventory master file. First, go to inventory module. Next, find the customer product mapping menu, under the master file. Then, Click on the Customer Product Mapping menu. Once click, system will load the Customer Product Mapping listing page. Now, we will proceed on how to add a new Customer Product Mapping. To add new, click the Add New Hyperlink. Then system will go to Add New Page. By default this is the Add New Page. There will be few compulsory fields indicate by the red asterisk. Now, select the customer at customer code. Then, select product at product code row. This customer and product code is maintained at the customer master and product master file. Next, key in the map code, and, map name 1. You may as well. Set the pre-plan price at here. Once done, press add button. System will save the details, then return to the customer product mapping listing. You may search back the record added earlier. To do so, key in the searching details at here. Then, click search. System will refresh the page and the record will show in the listing. If you wish to view or edit the details, click the customer code. Now, system will go to the edit page. At this page, you may change the details of the customer product mapping. As you can see, the active checkbox is ticked. If you unticked the checkbox, it will inactive the product mapping code. Therefore, this customer product mapping no longer can be used, unless we reticked it to activate. After done with the changes, then, click submit button to save the record. Now, you already know on how to add, view, edit and search for a record. Finally, let's learn on how to delete a record. As you may see on the screen, this is the delete icon. To delete, click the delete icon, and press OK on the prompt window. Another option to delete a record, is by going into the edit page, and press the delete button that you may see at the bottom of the page. Well done, now you have done your lesson on how to add a customer product mapping. Thank you.